Today we're going to talk about the autonomic nervous system. So the autonomic nervous system is the part of the nervous system which controls the action that the human cannot control himself. So these are called the involuntary actions. Examples, the action of the cardiac muscle, the muscles controlling the heart, you, can, you cannot control this yourself. The autonomic nervous system controls these muscles. Another example is the um, glandular secretions, like salivary glands, adrenal medulla, that one over the kidney, they secrete uh, secretions. So these actions are all controlled by the autonomic nervous system. So this autonomic nervous system contains two subsystems. The first one is called the sympathetic nervous system and the second one is called the parasympathetic nervous system. The point here is that when a system causes an organ or a gland to do something, the other organ does the opposite. So finally, the effect of both systems is antagonized. So a system does something, the other one does the opposite. That's the point. So as the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems are part of the nervous system, they arise from the spinal cord. So the sympathetic nervous system has roots in the upper end and the lower end of the spinal cord. Or in other words, the cervical and the sacral regions of the spinal cords. So the sympathetic nervous system arises from the cervical and the sacral region. While the parasympathetic nervous system arises from the middle region, which contains the thorax and the lumbar part. So the parasympathetic nervous system arises from the thoracic region and the lumbar region. So um, this is these are the contents of the autonomic nervous system. Now we will know the effects of the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system on some organs and glandular functions. So first we'll begin with the effect of uh, the autonomic nervous system on some organs, like the heart. So the sympathetic nervous system causes the increase in the heart rate, the blood pumping rate, and also it increases the, the force of contraction of the cardiac muscle. On the other hand, as the effect of the parasympathetic nervous system should antagonize the effect of the sympathetic nervous system, so it decreases the heart rate and it also decreases the force of contraction. The blood vessels. The sympathetic nervous system causes the vasoconstriction of blood vessels, or in other words, it increases the contraction of the walls of the blood vessels all over the body. On the other hand, the parasympathetic nervous system causes the vasodilation the vasodilation of the blood vessels, or in other words, the relaxation of the walls of the blood vessels. The elementary canal, the effect of the sympathetic nervous system is the relaxation of the stomach walls, and the parasympathetic nervous system effect is the opposite, so it's the contraction. The respiratory system. 
The effect on the respiratory system is the relaxation of bronchioles and decreasing the secretions. The parasympathetic nervous system would be the opposite, so the effect is the contraction of bronchioles and it increases the secretion. Finally, the urinary bladder, the sympathetic nervous system causes the relaxation of the walls of the urinary bladder, while the parasympathetic nervous system causes the contraction of the walls of the urinary bladder. Now we will show the effects of the autonomic nervous system on some glands. So first we have the salivary glands. So the effect of the sympathetic nervous system is um, stimulating a little secretion of saliva while the parasympathetic nervous system effect is uh, stimulating a large secretion, of course, because it's the opposite. And then we have the effect on the stomach. So the sympathetic nervous system is inhibiting the secretions of the glands in the alimentary canal or the stomach, um, definitely. So the effect is the inhibition, while the effect of the parasympathetic nervous system is the permission of secreting enzymes. The effect on the pancreas is just the same, the inhibition of secretions and the permission of secreting enzymes. Finally, the adrenal medulla. The parasympathetic nervous system doesn't have any nerves connected to the adrenal medulla, the gland over the kidney. But the sympathetic nervous system has nerves connected to it, so the effect of it on the adrenal medulla is increasing the secretion of adrenaline. or epinephrine enzyme. So this enzyme leads to the increase of the heart rate, increasing the um, ratio of glucose and blood. Accordingly, it increases the blood pressure. All of this um, leads to naming the sympathetic nervous system uh, the emergency nervous system. Because in cases of emergency, when the secretion of adrenaline or epinephrine enzyme increases, this helps the body to deal with an emergency situation. So that's it for today, and the next time we are going to talk about the different types of neuroreceptors, the nerves which receive impulses from different stimuli. That will be the last video in chapter 5, and then we will begin chapter 6, which talks about hormones. So until then, I thank you for watching, and see you.